Are you Bowan? I'm Dr. Trudy Senevaratna, Registrar of the Royal College of Psychiatrists. Thank you to all psychiatrists, but especially those of South Asian heritage, in the month that our college, the Royal College of Psychiatrists, celebrates South Asian History Month. I am from the island of Serendib, Ceylon or Sri Lanka as it's now known, a small and beautiful island just in the Bay of, Bay of Bengal. The two main characteristics that mark a person's ethnic heritage are language and religion, which intersect to create four major ethnic groups, the Sinhalese, the Tamils, the Muslims and the Burgers. I am Sinhalese and I speak Sinhala, which constitutes about 75% of the population. So behind me we have a range of objects uh, which remind me of Sri Lanka. We have a, a range of fruit uh, here, so things like mangoes and pawpaws and mangosteen, coconut, sugarcane, lemons and limes. We have brass, we have elephants uh, aplenty here. One elephant, uh, elephants are very special particularly in Kandy where I was born. Uh, there's a, a, a festival called the Perihara where Lord Buddha's tooth is paraded annually. We have flowers. Uh, we have um, a mask from Umbalangoda, uh, a town on the southwest coast, where these masks, called devil masks or demon masks, uh, are used sometimes to ward off evil spirits and to treat people and heal people. My Sri Lankan heritage, coupled with the fortune to have been raised in Britain, really do give me a rich palette to practice as a psychiatrist. It really does help me to examine our biopsychosocio-cultural framework that we work to as psychiatrists. In perinatal services and the mother and baby unit where I practice, people who work with me really know that I truly believe in holistic care. Occupational therapy, for example, is enormously valuable. And I, I see in Sri Lanka, for example, that this is used and is so important. It's important for people who are not able to use conventional talking therapies and it's something I absolutely promote on the mother and baby unit. Another example is massage. My mother was a paediatric nurse. She massaged my, my brother and I growing up. I massaged my two boys or our two boys growing up and they absolutely love massage. I introduced ma massage to the mother and baby unit for both the mothers and mother, mother and parent infant massage. We see the absolute value of massage, both for mothers and for the babies. Hippocrates, for example, talked about the importance of massage as a therapeutic aid for healing in all of medicine. I would absolutely love to see massage being used right across the board in mental health services and in psychiatry. As we live to learn through COVID, we still have much to do in psychiatry. I'd like to end with a reflection and something I remember from a Sri Lankan Sinhalese patient that I once had and who said to me while she was recovering from her postpartum psychosis, she said, doctor, please help my family to understand my illness. I really do love my baby and I didn't mean for this to happen. South Asians, like many communities, are deeply stigmatised by mental illness, and so are their families. This is a story we can absolutely change for the future. Thank you very much.